Welcome to our tutorial about using the Sweep Tools Guide Surface option. If you need to review the basic functions of the Sweep Tool, please do see Volume 1 in this course. Let me begin by zooming in a little bit. The first thing we've got to do is create a path for the Sweep Tool. Let's start with a three-point arc. First point. Second point. And let's place my third point about here. Something like this. Let's exit the sketch. Next, I'm going to create a sweep profile on the XZ plane. Let's take a normal view. Let's activate the rectangle tool and create a square. Right click, done. We'll add an equal relation. And let's dimension one of the sides. Three quarters of an inch. and click OK. Next, activate the Line tool. Between the bottom left and top right corners of our square, let's use a coincident constraint between this point and the origin point. Right click, Done. Now let's convert to Construction Geometry. Select the line, Construction Geometry. We're ready to exit this sketch, and let's take an isometric view. Next, I'm going to create a guide rail from this corner of the square. Let's create a work plane for that. I'll select this point and the XY plane. Create a 2D sketch. Normal view. Project geometry. And let's create a second three point arc now. First point and second point. And let's drop our third point about here. Let's exit this sketch. Right click and hide work plane 1. And let's take an isometric view. We're ready to activate the sweep tool now. It's on the model tab, create panel. Profile, it's already pre selected. Now let's select the path. We have a preview. We've got two options here for orientation normal to the path or parallel to the profile. Taper options. Enter a positive number to taper outward and a negative number to taper inward. Let's use zero or no taper. Next, type of sweep. Let's use path and guide rail. Now we select the guide rail. We can opt for profile scaling. Let's leave it at X and Y and click OK. And we have our sweep. Let's create a second sweep now. We're going to use a different sweep type, the Guide Surface Sweep. Let's begin by activating the Rectangle tool. We'll create a little rectangle down here. Finish the sketch. Now let's create a 3D sketch. Include geometry. Select this edge and finish the sketch. Activate the Sweep tool again. For type, let's select Path and Guide Surface. Now we choose the profile and the path and the guide surface right here. Here's a preview of our second sweep. Let's click OK. And here is our second sweep with a guide surface. Let's create another part document now. That'll be for our next sweep example, a sweep with a guide surface also. Let's start with a three point arc. First point, second point out here, and let's place the third point about right here. Finish the sketch. Now activate the extrude command. We're going to output as a surface in this direction. Let's adjust it a little bit in the workspace. OK. Now let's create a second sketch, this time on the XZ plane. 
Let's take a top view and activate the circle tool. We'll place our circle about here. Exit the sketch. Now create 3D sketch. Choose project to surface. First select the face. And then this curve. Our circle. The direction. Y axis. OK. Let's right click and hide sketch 2. And I want to create one more 2D sketch on the XY plane. Front view. Project geometry. Select this point. Activate the line tool. Now let's use this point to start a profile. Something like this. Let's close the profile. Right click and done. Exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Activate the sweep tool. Let's choose the path and guide surface type of sweep. The first profile is already pre selected. Let's select the path now and the guide surface and click OK. And here is our third sweep. This is our second example of using a sweep with a guide surface. This concludes our tutorial about using the guide surface option when creating a sweep.